Excuse me? But I think you might be in the wrong office. No, I'm in the right office. You're Katrina Bennett, Harvey's mysterious new hire. I'm afraid that puts me at a disadvantage because I don't know who you are. That's our problem right there. We have a problem? Oh, yeah, a big one. You haven't come to see me yet. Again, I don't know who you are. I oversee the first and second year associates. It's a responsibility that I take as seriously as holding the nuclear launch codes in my hands. Well, if you take it so seriously, then why are you in a fifth year associate's office trimming your fingernails at her desk? Trimming? This is a gold-plated nickel alloy cuticle sculptor from the south of Denmark, and I will sculpt my nails wherever I damn well please. Why don't we see what you're up to? That's password protected. Please. Prosecutor 99, third try. It's a violation of my privacy. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna tell? See, you're representing Chad Ritter. And this is your defense. Wow, it's like you're a baboon. But I'm in full control of Mr. Ritter's defense strategy. It's not a strategy, it's a prayer, which is why I'm gonna be forced to supervise you. I don't need a babysitter. You're not getting a babysitter. You're getting Lewis Lit. This is unacceptable. Be that as it may, you can either welcome my tutelage, or you can crawl back to the DA's office from whence you came. Welcome to Pearson Hartman. Donna? <sighs> Katrina! You know who I am? I know who everybody is. That's what I've heard. Do you have a minute? Uh, eight days from now, I think I got a spare 45 seconds. Well, if you get a break... You think I can be bought with cookies? Homemade chocolate chip. Dark chocolate? Something sweet. Dolled with peanut butter? Butterscotch. Walnuts? Please. Pistachios. The nun of royalty. Who told you my weak spot, Mike? Bertha. Big Bertha from the DA's office? <laughs> You're remembered fondly there. Oh, yeah. I'm remembered fondly everywhere. <sighs> okay, you got one minute. Who the hell is Lewis Litt? This might take more than a minute. How bad? I'd like to throw him through a plate glass window. Not a totally unprecedented reaction. Harvey brought me in, so I don't want to piss him off. I just want to know what the protocol is. Harvey won't stand in your way, but you listen to me. You want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lewis? You better be prepared to go the distance. Lewis? I just need him. Delicious. What is that? It's a spinach and kale power smoothie. I'm in the middle of my quarterly cleanse. What do you want? To apologize for any misunderstanding we might have had. That you might have had? I had. And it was huge. I looked up your record. You're a white collar genius. Go on. I don't just accept your tutelage. I'm begging for your help. Well, beg away. My motion to dismiss is Wednesday with Judge McIntyre. I've never been able to connect with him. No, it's because you don't understand him. Well, all I know is he's punitive. No, he's a stickler. Don't be late, don't be sloppy, don't be disrespectful, and I love you. Just like he loves me. Since you know him so well, would you do me the honor of signing on his first chair? I can. And I will. <laughs> You've forgiven me with grace, and now you're saving me in my hour of need. You're my knight in shining armor. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I will see if you on Wednesday, milady. <laughs> yes. How dare you? How dare I what? I just got a $3,000 fine from Judge McIntyre for missing my own hearing. I know. I was wondering what happened to you. I thought maybe your horse took fever, my liege. Uh-huh. You said it was Wednesday and you know it. No, I said Tuesday, as is confirmed in the documents I gave you.
This here's a fight you don't want to have. I didn't pick it. Yeah, you did. And now you're going to pay that fine, and you're going to write a letter expressing how sorry you are to Judge McIntyre. No, I'm not. I'm going to count to five. You can count to 500. The only thing I'm sorry for is getting stuck with you. You lied to me, and you know it. Oh, yeah? Who are you going to tell? Hi. What are you doing here? I just came by to tell you that you were right. This is your case, not mine. I am no longer first year. Fine. We're best friends. No, please leave. Okay, I came to give you your files back. All right. No way. I wasn't born yesterday. I've got my files right here. Okay, Katrina, I'm offering us both a way out here. You keep whatever's in those files the hell away from me. Okay. You got me. Not to be trusted. All right, let's get to it. Ms. Bennett, I believe you have something for me. Your Honor, Mr. Gibbs charged my client with securities fraud, but he neglected to disclose discrepancies between the SEC's findings and the IRS's. I have with me an exhibit. I'm sorry, you must have accidentally somehow gotten the file with pictures of me photoshopped as various American presidents. I actually like that one. I look pretty sharp, don't I? What you were really looking for was this, like I offered. But per your request, I'm going to keep it the hell away from you. Is this some sort of joke? No, Your Honor. Bring that folder up here right now. And if they're not legitimate court documents, you are in for one hell of a fine. How are we doing today, boys? Sir, I need you to step over here, please. Easy, Batman. I left my belt on. Well, if it's OK with you, I'm going to break out my trusty bat metal detector. Okay. Sir, I need you to raise your arms above your head, please. OK, and I'm going to need your badge number. How did those get there? So this is a weapon. A weapon? They're my nail scissors, you asshole. They're gold plated. They cost $2,000. You're going to bring a $2,000 weapon into my courthouse? I'm just saying I don't know even how, how they got there. Oh, well, maybe the Riddler put them there. OK, that's very funny. I'm just saying. Maybe it was like a big misunderstanding. You say you don't know who those are? OK, no, 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 no. OK, I'm sorry. OK, let's just start over. Just going to need him back. I'm placing you under arrest for carrying a concealed weapon into a courthouse of the state of New York and for assaulting an officer of the court. What? Hey, Eddie. Hey, Ms. Bennett. Nice to see you again. How are Shelly and the kids? Oh, they're doing great. You know, I mean, you know, she's, yeah, no, they're doing great. Thanks for asking. It was her. You think I don't know that? So who's going to kneel before Zod now? dealing before anybody, let alone the person who framed me and put me in this jail cell. You humiliated me with Judge McIntyre. Oh, please, you did the same thing. Missing an appearance is different from looking like a buffoon in open court. I gave you a way out, so don't come crying to me. Rapist. Murderer. These are the kinds of people I'm used to dealing with. And you know where they are? Spending the rest of their lives realizing that I wasn't just a pretty face. Is that what you think this is about? You treated me like shit because I'm a woman. How dare you? I worship women. My mother, my grandmother, God rest her soul, Hillary Clinton, Gwen Stefani. Then what the hell is your problem? You took a job from somebody who deserved it more. I went to resubmit my motion to dismiss. Turns out Judge McIntyre already received it from me. Client needed it and you wrote it. For me to put my signature on it, it would just be wrong. Well, it worked. Are you ready to call the truce? Are you going to frame me for murder if I say no? Not as long as you keep these in your own office. <laughs>